Netflix is one of the largest OTT in the world. It has very large subscriber base across the world, so it has to collect a huge amount of data. In this video, we are going to work on a data science project, which is Netflix Data Analysis with Python. The very first step in any data science project is to collecting data. So for collecting the data, we are using one website whose name is Kaggle. So on the Kaggle, you can get a large set of data for uh, data analysis. So what we will do that we will directly download this Netflix data set that is in the CSV format. So I will provide the link of this uh, website in the description and you can directly download the Netflix data set from here because I have already downloaded it. I will just cancel it and the next thing we will do that environment setup so for data analysis either you can use Jupyter notebook or google collab so i am going to use google collab so after opening the google collab you have to first establish the connectivity so for that from here you can connect to the hosted runtime and then the next step is to open a new notebook so you can open a new notebook or if you have any existing one you can open that as well so i am opening a new notebook and in that i will upload my data set here i will come to this file icon and then i will upload my data set so here you can see that this is netflix.titles.csv i will just upload it so here you can see that my data set has been uploaded now the next step is to import of the data so before importing the data we have to import the python libraries which are needed to do this data analysis so the very important library is numpy so i'm going to import all libraries one by one so i will import numpy as np and then i will import pandas after that plot lie express we can import Now let's understand what is the purpose of importing these libraries. NumPy is a popular library in Python for performing the linear algebra. Now coming to the pandas. So pandas we are using for data preparation. Now coming to the Plotly Express. So Plotly Express we are using for data visualization. The last one is text blog. So text blog is used for sentiment analysis. Now we have to import our data set for analysis. So for that we will be import it as data frame so data frame we will import as using pandas library so for that we can write pd.readcsv because it is a csv file so this is how we import the data set let's run this blog so in the google collab either you can click on this run shell or here you can see that control enter you can click okay so what i will do that i will just for the first time i will run it let's see that here it is showing that yes there is no error in our code now let's see that what is the shape of our data frame so for that we can write df dot shape so it will show the number of rows and column in our data set so I'm just running it here. You can see that the number of raw in our data set is 8807 and number of columns are 12. Now I have pressed shift enter. So by shift enter, you can create one new shell. Let's see like how our data is looking like. So for previewing your data, what you can do that you can write like df dot head. So df dot head, what, what it does. So basically it will show you the first five rows of your data set. So here you can see that in our columns, what, what all we have that is show ID type, title, director, cast, country, 
date added, release year, rating, a duration, uh, and uh, listed year. And let me zoom it out. Description. So these are all things we have in our data set. You can click on this icon to make it into a tabular form. So here you can see that now our data is looking uh, into tabular form. So here all the rows and columns are visible perfectly. So we have 12 columns and 8807 rows. There is one more way you can see the number of columns and the name of column in your data set. So for that you can write directly df.columns. When you will write df.columns, you can see like these columns are existing. So here, so ID, type, title, director, cast, country, date added, release year, rating, duration, listed in, description. Data type of this uh, is object. After watching this data, we have to understand like what content is available in, in this data. So you, we can see that what all contents are available. So this is the show ID. In the show ID, this is... Uh, I, I, I don't think it is uh, any anyhow useful or relevant to us. This is type. This is movie or TV show. Now going to another column that is title. So this is the title of the movie or title of the show. Now who is the director? So in the director you can see like uh, some of the columns we have the director name and other is NAN. Means we don't have any director name that is not a number. None. So we will uh, fill this value as well because uh, we cannot work on this nan value so accordingly you can see we have so many places nan like the cast is not available here so that's why this is nan and here in this tv show the cast is available in this tv show the cast is available accordingly like this is quota factory the cast is available here so you can watch this data set and you can uh, think like uh, what our analysis you want to do and accordingly you can proceed now you have to understand the network between the actors and the directors uh, uh, what exactly netflix is focusing on and the sentiment analysis of the content uh, we have to do now let's start with our data analysis portion so first of all what we will do that we will start looking at the distribution of the content rating on netflix the rating you can see here this is uh, these all are the ratings like uh, who can watch this content like uh, uh, this is uh, mature and adult content. So these kinds of uh, ratings are available on the Netflix. So let's uh, prepare a pie chart and see like uh, wh which content is uh, available uh, in the most amount on the Netflix. So for that, uh, first of all, we will uh, group the rating and we will take the uh, rating count also. Let's start with uh, creation of the pie chart. So first step is we will group the rating. So df dot group by and after that in the group by we will take rating and the next is we will take the size and after that we will reset the in index. And we will name the index as counts. Now to show you like what we have done, uh, I will just print this X like uh, what it is looking like. So that you will get to know like uh, what we have done. So here you can see that like we have just taken the count of all of the rating available. So I think these, these are the not relevant things uh, in the rating column. You can see here this g nc17 nr so these all are the ratings okay so these these are available in the count so i think this uh, the maximum count is here tv ma like this is mature and adult content the count of this mature uh, and adult content is 3207 so accordingly we will plot one pie chart so i will just create one new cell let's create one new cell and inside that again i will uh, i will create one pie chart so i will just name it pie chart we have important plot lie express as px so we will use it here and we will write px.py and inside that we will give x as the input and then values for that is count now we will provide the names names as rating and then now coming to the title of the pie chart the title will give as like distribution of content on Netflix.
so now let's run it sorry i just forgot to print that uh, pie chart pie chart dot show we have to do now here you can see that this is our pie chart so as we can see that the count of the uh, tv ma content is maximum so accordingly it has taken uh, its share in the circle okay so this is 36.4% uh, of the content are tv ma and 25.5% uh, are, are tv 14 so this is uh, how the distribution of the uh, content rating on the netflix looking like so accordingly uh, you can create the other pie chart as well now coming to next what we will do that now looking at the data uh, we will uh, try to analyze the top five actors and uh, directors uh, on the netflix okay like uh, the most number of the directors like uh, who has created the content on the netflix and the most and the actor who has uh, created most number of content on the netflix Let's do that. Here we can see that like uh, in the director uh, column, there are so many NAN. So this, this, these are like not a number like blank values. So we have to actually either fill this value or we have to remove this. So both option as, options are available. So what we will do that we will fill it. Okay. So let's fill it as uh, a director name or not a specified. Okay. So from the data frame, we are taking a director column. And in the director, what we are going to do that we are going to uh, replace this all director column as df director and then we are going to fill NA. What fill NA will do that wherever NA is available, it will fill whatever the value will pass here. So we are going to pass here as director not specified. So I've just run it. Let's see like uh, how our uh, data set is looking right now. So df dot head. Here we can see that like wherever NAN was there, we have a provided director not specified. So by this uh, method, you can uh, fill the NAN values. Now let's collect the name of the directors in uh, another data frame. So for that, we will create one data frame that is uh, director list underscore list. So in that, what we will do that we are creating this uh, director list and now we will create it as data frame. So pd dot data frame. Okay. So now I will show you like why what we have done. So if I, I will just print director directors list. Let me show you like how it is looking like. So now this is an empty data frame. It has no column and no rows right now. We have created one uh, directors list data frame. Now we have to fill the data in it. So for that, what I will do that directors list and uh, after that in the in this we will just take our old data frame so df and from that we will take directors so from our original data frame we have taken a uh, director and in that we will put all the directors name Now, if I show you like how it is looking like, I will just print the directors list. Now I'll just copy it. And let me show you. So we have just taken the list of directors like this. After that, the next step is to put it into the data frame. So we have just taken the director's name as a stack and now we will put it as a, uh, put it into our data frame. So directors list. Now I will show you like how this director list is looking like. Now here you can see that it, it is uh, 
in the form of rows and columns okay here you can see that it, it has just length and data type as object but here it is in the uh, form of row and columns so 9612 rows are there and one column is there so we have created our data frame now here we can see that this the name of our column is not appearing so let's uh, give the name of our column so for that we will just uh, give the name of our column using the dot columns so directors list dot columns equal to and uh, whatever the name we want so i will just give name as directors and if i show you by printing this so it has run but let me show you by printing it so print so here we have renamed the name of our column which was for before appearing zero now it is coming as director now let's come to the next step so in the next step uh, we will just uh, take the count of uh, directors and uh, we will name it as our total content okay so like how many total content they have created created here you can see that like uh, this uh, Christian Johnson might be appearing uh, in some other rows as well uh, so for that we will just take the count of uh, all the directors by grouping them I will just store those count uh, in directors so in the directors what I will do that directors list and uh, then uh, we will use group by where we will group by so what we are actually grouping so we are going to group use group by for the director director and after that we will take its size now reset index and we will name it as total content or total count now let me show you by printing this directors so it is throwing error because the name is directors not director so here you can see that uh, it is appearing the director name and we have added one more uh, column that is total count now what we will do that we will just remove the director not specified this we will actually remove from because uh, we don't want to put it in our analysis okay so we will just remove it directors and in the directors what we will do that directors and then directors dot director where director is not equal to director not specified so here you can see that we have five one two one rows now if i will print it print here you can see that five one two zero rows because one of the rows we have eliminated which which was director not specified so we have eliminated dot that row after that here we can see that like these these are not in the uh, ascending or descending manner so what we will do that we will sort this these in the descending manner so for sorting it again directors and then directors dot short value short values and then in the by we will give total count now let me print directors if i will print it now you can see that here it is shorted in ascending manner but uh, i want to sort it into descending manner so for that what we can do that here only we can just give ascending as false ascending equal to false now when i will run it it will be sorted in the descending manner now we will take top five of the directors so these are the top five directors for that we can uh, store top five uh, 
directors into any new variable i am going to store it into top 5 or top top 5 directors in top 5 directors we can directly take directors dot head so director dot head will automatically store why it is coming like uh, this i think directors okay directors dot head will automatically store top five of the directors if if you want to see it like how whether it is working or not so you can directly print also okay so now top five directors if i will print it you can see here top five uh director from this uh, data frame is automatically stored into top five directors now we will create one horizontal bar chart so that we can see like uh, how many content they have created so here we can directly see that uh, they this uh, rajiv chilaka has created 22 content jan shooter has created 18 uh, and accordingly others have created 18 16 16 but uh the data which is in the form of graphs are uh, more likely to be uh, visualizable or uh, like uh, uh, they look better so that's why we will be creating uh, one horizontal bar chart so for that let's start with creation of the bar graph okay so bar chart so i will give this bar chart and we will use again px dot bar and in that we will give director top five directors top five directors and then and then x we will give as total count and on the y we will give uh, director and after that uh, the title we can give as title of the graph we can give as uh, top five uh, directors on netflix now let's uh let's see like how this uh, bar chart is looking like so bar bar chart dot So here you can see that our bar chart is sorted in ascending manner and if we want to sort it into descending manner so for that we have to write one line of code to sort our data into descending manner top five directors and then we can sort them uh, by total content okay so we can sort them by total count so top five directors dot short values short underscore values and inside that we will give short by as total count now let's run it there is something wrong in our code so we provided actually two underscores instead of one that's why this error was coming now here you can see that we have our expected result in front of us so summarizing this all so here we can see that what all things we have done so i will just provide the comment libraries and data here we are just checking the number of rows and count of the data
So we have just uh, analyzed the top five directors available on the Netflix. So accordingly, we can analyze the top five actor also on the Netflix. So let's start analyzing like uh, who all are the top five successful actors on the Netflix. So in the actor as well, we can see that uh, we have to take uh, the actor name from the cast actually. Okay. So the cast name is available, but here also we can see that this NAN is populated. So we will just uh, take the same approach like what we did uh while analyzing the top five directors on the netflix but right now we will not uh do it uh in the line by line we will just write the whole code i think you will be able to understand like what we are going to do so first of the first thing we will do that we will just replace the nan values i'm just going to take df and in the df we are going to take cast and we are going to actually replace the nan values so df again cast and then fill nan fill na and at that place we will be writing like no cast specified so cast is not specified we will be creating one new data frame so for that uh, i am going to take it as cast list or cast df we can take and then pd dot data frame and we have created like uh, we have already seen like what this uh, code will do then again cast underscore df and in that we will be taking the cast name from the uh, original data frame so df cast str dot split and uh, based on uh, uh, comma and uh, Expand true. Now we're taking it as stack. Then again, we have to uh, create it as a data frame. So, cast underscore df equal to cast underscore df two underscore frame and then cast underscore df and then we, we have to rename it like uh, we will be giving the name as uh, actor okay dot columns equal to uh, actor now let's run it and let's check that whether it is uh, working fine or not so yeah we don't have any uh, error in our code so it is working fine now we have to take actors so taking actors and we will uh, we will take the count of the actors by just grouping them okay so cast underscore df and then group by group by and then we will be taking the column as actor actor we are taking and then we will take size and uh, again we will be adding one more column so for that what is set index and uh, we will be giving the name as total count now similarly like we removed uh, the no cast specified uh, raw so accordingly we will remove here as well again we have to just sort them Now taking top five actors. Actors dot going next.
so everything is fine here now we can just write the uh, bar chart code Uh, let's show this bar graph so now here we have top five actors on the netflix so anpam kher uh rupa bhimani takahiro shakurai and julie tezwani om puri these are the top five actors on the netflix like they have the most number of the contents like uh, anpam kher has created Uh, 39 content and rupa bhimani has created 31 accordingly like uh, you can see uh, the content is appearing so in the first uh analysis like uh, analyzing the top five directors on the netflix like we did it part by part but we can do it like uh, one alone also here you can see that like we have done the analysis of top 5 uh, actors on the netflix like in only one code block so i will just uh, add the text here i will just move it up and uh, here i will just add the comment now let's analyze the trend of the content production over the years on the netflix we will create one uh, graph in that we will see like uh, how many movies and tv shows are produced per year so for that let me write the text like i am giving the comment here now let's take one data frame in that data frame we have to take uh, the release years and the type so df one we will take as df and in that we are going to take type and release years so here the type if we see the our data if we see our data the types there are two types actually tv shows and movies and here is the release year so based on that we are going to analyze it like every year how many tv shows are produced and how many movies are uh, produced or released on the netflix again df1 we will be taking as then we are going to rename the column name release year or we can keep it as it is no problem so df1 dot rename after that let's uh, let's take the count of the uh, content produced every year we, we will uh, just create new data frame so df2 equal to now let's see like how this tf2 is looking like so here we have done one mistake the release year we have taken a uh, wrong spelling so that's why it's throwing error okay now i am going to print df2 let's see how it is looking like so here you can see that this release year we have renamed type also we have renamed and here you can see that the total count it is showing then we have to actually short it and then uh, either we will sort it no uh, there is no need of sorting here because we are going to just uh, analyze the trend so trend we can take from like uh, uh, whatever year we want to take the trend so from that year we have to 
take the trend so accordingly let's work on that so we are going to create one graph graph so on that graph actually we will be uh, taking this this will be a trend so line will be taking so line and then we have to give it as df2 and on the x axis we will be taking it as release here and then on the y axis the total content total content will be on the y axis now we can give the uh, color so color will be based on the type now title of the graph now you'll see like how this graph is looking like graph dot show so again there is some uh, i think uh, error in our code so let's see like what where we are we are making a mistake so where actually we have to provide total count There are some typos in our uh, title, so let me rectify it. So here you can see that uh, we have taken the trend from 1930. So I think that is uh, that is not required. We can take it from either 2000 or 2010. So accordingly, we have to modify our code. So let's write one code for that. So we will be taking df2, df2 equal to again df2 and then inside that again df2 and then uh, we have to take release data uh, greater than. So where our release, release here actually, release here and it should be greater than whatever the year you want greater than or equal to so i will be giving it as 2000 so accordingly now uh, our graph will look like so here you can see that from 2000 it is showing like how many contents were being produced okay so this is the trend line of the content produced on netflix every year so accordingly we can uh, do multiple uh, analysis based on this data so like uh, you can uh, you can create uh, one graph like uh, based on the like uh, country like uh, which country has uh, most number of content uh, produced so this is like uh, similar like uh, how we we did the analysis on the directors and actors so the similar a uh, code would be required to write so i am just uh, leaving it on you now we will do one sentiment analysis so the in the sentiment analysis like uh, we will be just reading the description so in the description like uh, using the test blob we will just uh, analyze the polarity so test blob uh, will just read this description and it will uh, give the polarity polarity a result so if the polarity is uh, minus one uh, like the polarity result is uh, in between minus one and one so if it is uh, less than zero then the content is negative and it, if it is zero then the content will be neutral and uh, like if uh, the polarity is greater than zero then mm, content is kind of positive content so accordingly we will be writing the codes uh, to just analyze the sentiment of the content i'm going to add the comment now we're starting with the sentiment analysis so what we will do we will take 
the release year and description like uh, which year which type of uh, content has been released like uh, every year uh, the con whatever the content has been released like, like how many content are positive negative and neutral so again we will be taking df3 and then df from the df we will be taking release year and then a description again df3 and in that again the same thing like uh, if you want you can rename uh, these columns Now we will write uh, the for loop for the sentiment analysis. So in that, what we'll do that for index and draws in df and uh, the raw will we will be kept as iterative. We have written the for loop and uh, we will take description as t and inside that we will store description raw and then we will be taking testimonial and in the testimonial we will be storing text blob and inside that we will be giving d now we have to uh, take the polarity so polarity for the polarity we will store it in the p and if the testimonial dot sentiment dot polarity so for the each content we will be uh, taking the polarity and if polarity is equal to zero then we will be uh, then we will be uh, keeping this sentiment as neutral so sentiment will be neutral okay and uh, after that we will be taking elif so if uh, polarity is greater than zero in that case sentiment is equal to uh, it is positive okay uh, otherwise like in the else condition we will be writing sentiment is like if uh, the other condition is if sentiment is uh, less than zero then in that case it is negative okay if a polarity is less than zero, then sentiment will be negative. Now, in the DF3, what we will do that, we will store the sentiment, okay? So, at the index two, we will be storing the sentiment now coming out of the for loop we have to take the count of the content based on uh, the release year and sentiment now we have to uh, group by the content like every year like uh, how many contents are released and what are their sentiment so for that we will be writing df3 equal to df3 dot group by and then release here 
and uh, the other thing is sentiment again df3 is equal to df again we are going to take the sentiment analysis from uh, 2000 so let's take it from the 2005 because in the 2000 i think uh, you can see here zero uh, like only four contents were released uh, uh, in the tv so only four or five oh, yeah only four content for the tvc and tv show and 33 for the movies so we'll be taking it from uh, 2005 okay so again df3 then again df3 and uh, in the release year it, it should be greater than 2005 again we have to draw the bar graph so px dot bar df3 and then x axis will be giving as release year then y axis will be taking as total count then color will be based on the sentiment then coming to the title so i think we have made some mistake so release here sentiment so here first thing is like group by and we have test nine okay so here it was nine it should be starting bracket again we have made some mistake then here here it should be iter rows and we have given as inter rows so that, that is the mistake so we have renamed description as description so it should be capital d now i think it should work here you can see it is iterating uh, on the content and yeah it worked so you can see that the overall the count we can from the graph we can see that the overall count of the poetic content uh, are uh, more than the negative or neutral contents so this this color represents the poetic content and uh, this is the negative content so every year we can see that uh, positive content the count of the positive contents uh, are more than uh, the count of negative contents so by this graph we can conclude that uh, netflix creates uh, more positive contents than negative contents so by this you can uh, do more analysis on this uh, data set like uh, here you can see that it listed in is uh, documentaries or uh, international tv so tv dramas mysteries so i think these are the genre so you can just uh, create one uh, graph like uh, how many contents are uh, created every year based on the genre okay so this is how we do the data analysis uh, in the google collab and also like uh, you can just save it uh, you can rename it here like netflix data analysis netflix data analysis anyway i will share this uh, uh, whole project uh, on my github and i will provide the link in the description so if you like this video just subscribe to my channel and uh, keep watching
Thank you so much for investing your time here.